Welcome to this edition of OpenSCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at designing this a utility box, a parametric utility box, uh, which is uh, capable of mounting on a bench, a wall, or, or just basically what have you. Again, it's designed to receive uh, either two switches or, or two outlets uh, on these mounting posts. So let's jump in and take a look at a bit of the code that we designed here. So uh, as mentioned, uh, the first part, it is parametric, so everything is designed out with uh, parameters so it can easily be changed. You know, So for example, if we want to change the height of the box to... 20 millimeters all we do is enter 20 and then boom you know our box is now 20 millimeters tall or we can simply go back and put back in 60 and again just recompute and it's there uh, the other piece is again we're setting this up uh, in short as a module so we have the utility box module here and then what we do is we come down here and we create the module is we start out we create an outer box which is the outer shell over here that you see and then we hollow out the inter box and uh, long story right here short is we just do a difference then what we do is we do a lug offset uh, which is this hole here and so you, you notice uh, back up here in the parametric setting we have lug diameter which is 9 so you can set the lug for whatever you want uh, you can also uh, if you want to modify the code put a second lug on the side or change the uh, side which the lug is and again we're going to difference that out um, then we're going to come down here and we're going to create the solid pegs and so first we're going to within that difference we're going to do a union for the pegs and then you notice we have upper left lower left you kind of get the idea and what we're doing is we actually set the pegs up to be uh, both a cylinder and a cube so this is what gives it this this shape if you notice right here of being a little bit offset so we have the the cylinder and then we attach a cube to it uh, to give it this formation to give it extra strength and bond it to the wall so neat little trick there and so what we do is we do that for four of them. And then what we do is we create the holes in the pegs also to receive the screws from the electrical outlet. Now, one of the things to notice about this is uh, down here, what we do is we taper it. So, um, so we have create holes in peg and well documented. And we have uh, box height thickness and then we taper it down from the opening we specify down to uh, one so um, what that does is gives us a very narrow cone uh, so as the screw goes down it gets tighter and tighter and tighter so interesting little add-on again just to snug things up um, you know especially as it runs down the tube area um, the other thing we do is we come down here and well create the difference for the pegs we end the difference oh and then we create the tabs That's something else I wanted to show so uh, these tabs which stick out on the side here so they're kind of unique little objects uh, because what we do is we have a little offsets to so we can place a washer in the opening here pass a bolt through it and then also have this uh, extended uh, foot here in the tab to give it extra strength with this triangle and what we do here is is we have uh, we actually use a polygon and we create a triangle with the polygon and then we extrude it and then we rotate it is how we get this uh, shape like this so this is a handy little piece of code to have if you're looking to create um, a triangular object like this uh, grab this code it comes in handy and then we create the bolt holes for the feet and then again this is all placed within a module called the tab and we pass to it the parameters and then we call it above so up here see you can see here where we create the tab so anyways this is a handy little box over on our sister site or parent site actually diy3dtech.com we well there'll actually be a video coming out where we create a bench uh, bench or desktop kind of interesting um, power brick out of this and so uh, comes in pretty handy and again if you have like a sprinkler system that you need an outlet for anything you need an outlet for this comes in handy or you can use it as a simple utility box one of the things I'll be doing in a future episode is I'll be adding uh, a top to it just a generic top now in the next video that's going to come out 
I'll show you how to create a regular uh, 110 outlet cover for this which mates up to this box and so that will be in the next one but then probably the third or fourth one out I'll make a generic cover and modify this because one of the things I do intend on using this for is my laser cutter so anyways I think I've rambled enough let's go ahead let's um, go watch a time lapse of this being printed and then we'll come back to the bench and take a look at the physical product and see how it all turned out so over to the printer we go Okay, welcome back. So uh, we watched a time lapse of this, and as you've seen, it uh, failed a bit. Um, there's both good news and bad news out of that. So obviously, it failed. I'm not sure exactly why it failed. I've been having a bit of a problem with this uh, new filament. I got uh, this yellow filament kind of feeding through the gears. I'm think I'm going to have to take the extruder apart and take a look at it and make sure that uh, the gears not fouled up. But uh, Anyways, the positive piece of this is I've actually got more than enough room to do what I want to do anyway. And the holes line up perfectly, which is a little bit of what I was concerned about. So anyways, um, actually it worked out pretty well. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it. The model works, and that was the big thing I wanted to prove out. And uh, so I'll have this code posted on the website. So if you're interested in creating utility boxes of your own, um, hey, go for it. It'll be out there. And uh, hey, if you found this uh, video interesting, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. A lot more coming on OpenSCAD uh, DIY3DTech.com. So see you in the next one. Cheers.